Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today I am reviewing the Simpsons movie starring Dan Castellantia, Julie Kavner, Nancy Cartwright, and Yeardley Smith, and was directed by David Silverman, and is about, after Homer pollutes the town's water supply, Springfield is encased in a gigantic dome by the EPA, and the Simpsons are declared fugitives. Um... Let's talk about uh, the positives. First off, um, let's uh, get this off the bat. Um, the animation is leagues better than in the show. All right, now, don't get me wrong. I love the show so far. I'm almost down through season seven. And um, <clears throat> the animation quality is pretty low. Um, but, but that brings half the charm to it, but this, this one's animation is actually really good. Um, <clears throat> it's very, very smooth, and eh, sure, it's a little glossy, but it, it, it's really well done. It's really good. Um, and the voice acting is top-notch for The Simpsons. It's very good. Uh, the line deliveries are, are great. Some of them are, the line deliveries are, uh, sometimes hilarious. This is a... Uh, very, in my opinion, a very funny movie. Um, I know there was a lot of mixed feelings about this movie. It did come out around the time where The Simpsons started to lose its touch. Um, and, uh, even though I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop watching the show after season 10, um, <clears throat> I, I can only imagine how bad this show is gonna get, but I don't want to see the beloved Simpsons get, get bad, so I'm gonna just stop watching after season 10. Um, so, yeah, um, let's, all right, anything else? Is there anything else that I could talk about? Because I only talked about two things. There has to be more positives in this. Uh, yeah, there is. Um, this mo is a very fast-paced and quick, and quick, and fast-going movie. It is no, there's not a moment that slows down. Um, it always is moving. There's always something happening, and sometimes you could you could see that as a negative. But uh, for the it's the Simpsons. It's not really supposed to be slow or dramatic or anything like that. Um, even though there is a moment in the movie where it does get dramatic, and it wasn't really my favorite part of the movie. Um, and even though. Uh, some things, I, when I first watched the movie, I was a little confused at some things, but that's because I, I actually watched this before I even started watching the show, so then I started watching the show, and things made more sense, so, um, even though I don't really think you need to watch the full series of the show, you at least need to get the gist of it in, or, in order to really get some things that happen in this movie. Um, but no, you do not need to be a Simpsons fanboy to enjoy it, because I saw this movie before I was before I started watching The Simpsons, and I still liked it. Um, uh, all right, what else? Um, um, movie looks nice. Like, the, the backdrops are pretty nice. The colors are and shading are really good. Um, there's a lot of good jokes here. Um, I can't go into all of them. There's a lot of jokes that I actually was pr laughing pretty hard at. <laughs> um... I'm not going to go into them, because if I spoil them, what's the point of even watching the movie? Um, <clears throat> most of it is around the first act. The, f the first act is, uh, the first and the second act are probably, or maybe the first and third act. The, uh, I, I found the movie constantly funny throughout. Um, I don't know, maybe I just have bad, bad tastes or not, but I, I found the movie constantly funny. Um... I mean, it is the... I think it was written by Matt Groening, the guy who made the show. Um, and and it was directed by David Silverman. Uh, he directed a lot of the classic Simpsons episodes. Uh, so there was clearly care put into the movie. Um, Alright, let's talk about some negatives I have. There are a few subplots in this movie that feel pointless. There's a subplot with Lisa and this like other kid that she has a crush on that went nowhere i don't know if it goes into into it in the show more but i'm not gonna watch the show anymore after we're after season 10 so so i don't care it, in my opinion it came out of left field and didn't go anywhere um <clears throat> uh. and then there's the part in and around towards the beginning of the third act where it gets dramatic for seemingly uh no reason uh 
I, 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 to me, it just didn't really work out. It didn't, it, I mean, it was executed okay. I just didn't really think it really warranted a really dramatic, a dramatic subplot. Um, and as most comedy movies, some, not all the jokes land, some of them fall flat, but, uh, most of the time they hit and I could respect the fact that it wasn't, you know, cringe inducing. I want to say this movie was cringy. Um, it's about some, oh yeah. And I feel like the movie, uh, the movie's message feels very heavy handed. Like in, in my opinion, in my opinion, it definitely has some sort of anti-pollution message in there somewhere. Uh, actually, no, not somewhere. You can't miss it. It's like it, it's like a subtle as a sledgehammer to the face. Um, or at least that's what I got from it. It might be different to you. It's been a little while since I saw this movie last, but who knows? Who cares? All right, let's wrap this one up. So, in conclusion, The Simpsons movie is a pretty good movie. I really like it. I really enjoy it every time. I really enjoy it, and I really... I really enjoy this movie. Um, so I am going to give The Simpsons movie a B plus and is pretty good. So if you've seen The Simpsons movie, what did you think about it? And if you like this review, give it a like, and I will see you guys next time.